Hey everybody, Papa C here. Today, we're not cooking. Nope. What I thought I'd do today uh, is give you a look around my new barbecue patio and look at some of my cookers and, and that kind of thing. Um, in fact, I thought I'd give, this would be a cool opportunity for everybody to do the same thing. I know some of you, some of you have already done videos like this, but uh, this would be a good opportunity to do a video where you didn't have to cook um, and maybe help grow your channel. So I was thinking, let's use hashtag my barbecue crib, my BBQ C R I B in, in the description. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you would put a link to my video. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be fun. I know some of you have already done something like this, but so uh, I think it'll be fun. All right, be back in a few minutes. So here is a look at the very end and here's the fire pit which we have not even had a fire in yet it's been so damn hot the last few uh, weeks and what have you but we're waiting until we can get the family all together and everybody that helped on the build so but this is looking down towards you know the cooking equipment and what have you swing over here that's kind of how i transitioned it to the deck with the stepping stones onto the deck and everything which the deck was last year's project all this my son his wife, my daughter, and her boyfriend helped me do. Uh, it was a lot of work, but I'm loving it. Alright, so here's another view of the fire pit. Um, the fire pit, actually, I have plans on using it to cook on too. I plan on doing some actual wood-fired stuff in here, some um, Dutch oven cooking, and that kind of thing. So this is actually, for me, going to be a cooker as well. So that probably won't happen till next year, but we'll see. Uh, I wouldn't mind even getting some kind of a rotisserie set up for in here. I think that'd be cool. But anyway, I do have plans for that as well. So moving on over. Right now, this is just a little um, patio table that we had. I'm contemplating um, getting rid of this and building a bar, kind of like a bar high top kind of deal here where I could do some beer tastings and some food tastings after a cook that kind of thing so yeah I think that'd be kind of cool and I love I like I'm a woodworker so I like doing those kind of projects as well so all right so let's take a look at some of the cookers all right guys so here's a look at my pellet cooker this is my Pit Boss 440D. Um, it's a small pellet cooker. Um, this is this was a Christmas present three years ago from my kids. So um, 
I was in need of replacing a gas grill and this is what I got. I was actually at a point where I had a, a smoker and then two old Webers that were rusted out and was in need of new stuff. So it's kind of one of the how this channel got born is because I got all this new stuff. But uh, anyway, here's my pit boss. It's a it's a pretty small um grill there's not a lot of surface space in there i mean i can do two racks of ribs in there not much more than that um you know a brisket and that kind of thing it works really really well though um doesn't have any of the problems that i've read about some pit bosses uh with the controller it's i've been using this for three years and it hasn't skipped a beat at all um, the only thing I've really done to it, a modification is, I put a port, drill a hole and put a port so I could run my temp probes through there and <laughs> that's about it. Mm -hmm. Nothing else really to do. So I use this, I've, I, you see me use this on a couple of my videos, so uh, I like it. Don't you just love that smell when you open up one of your cookers and it has that smell of past cooks? Mm. All right. All right, guys, on to my Blackstone. Here is my 22-inch Blackstone. If you remember, the cabinet that I did a video on when I bought this cabinet, um, at the time I had legs or wheels on it. I've taken the wheels off. Um but it absolutely works perfect to sit the Blackstone on and have a cabinet to hold all my Blackstone cooking supplies. And just this last weekend, I had ordered and got the cover for it, the uh, top here. That's pretty slick. That I needed. Makes a really good cabinet for I keep, you know, just some of my junk. I got my temp, uh, my infrared, my extra bottles, some pans, all my spatula stuff. There's more, I'm not sure where all that is, but yeah, it works really slick. Down below, more supplies. Uh, got my covers for cooking there. It's just some extra gas bottles. I do am using the little one pound containers right now. I haven't got it. I'm gonna get a uh, a little pancake, the five gallon um, propane holder that'll sit in on this shelf. So I am gonna convert that. But yeah, it works. And it, it, worked really slick I'm really enjoying this and do look for coming soon I've already got the intro done but I'm doing a series that's just the Blackstone only um, it's gonna be kind of a fun thing so look for a premiere within the next month surrounding cooks with the Blackstone so yeah, I gotta have a Blackstone, right? All right, guys, on to the next one. Guys, so next up is the Charbroil Big Easy Smoker Roaster Grill. I love this thing. Um, So you can grill on top of it um, as a small grill. I mean, it's not it's not real big, but the big thing of this, you remove this. You can see down inside there, it's got the basket. Um, that you know, you can do so much with it. It's you can uh, you know put chickens in it. Uh, 
Oh my God, I've cooked, I don't know how many different things. I cook a lot of turkey and chicken in there. It's just, to me, works awesome for that. Wings, um, it's got hanging system within the basket. You can put two whole chickens in that thing. You can put a turkey. Uh, and then here on the side, put your chips in. So works great as a little smoker. The sad thing is they don't make this anymore. So uh, when this thing needs replaced, not sure what I'm gonna do. They still make the, the Big Easy oilless turkey fryer, which is real similar to this without the grill top. It, it doesn't have the smoker attachment to it, but you know, I would probably get one of those, but this would be hard to replace. I love this grill. But, uh, yeah, we use this a lot. This is this is this is the a lot of quick uh, chops and that kind of thing for dinner, and put in a little handful of chips and push just the right amount of smoke on it. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right, guys, so the next one up is my Weber kettle. Um, I got this uh, just a couple months ago, actually. I had a uh, old, uh, an old kettle. I think it might have even been an 18 inch. I think it was actually. And then, and then I had a Jumbo Joe as well. And I used those for, I had those for like 10 years and, and uh, they pretty much just rusted out and I didn't have a covers for them or anything and but uh yeah I missed having the the Weber though so this is the premium kettle I uh, got a good deal on it at Ace Hardware I have Added the cool touch handle here to the uh, top vent, and I uh, haven't done much really with it. I did put a little bit of slot here for my wires. I kind of did the same thing that if you've ever seen cooking with rise video um, that he did. Um, yeah, I've been. I think I've used this on a couple. There'll be a lot more cooks with this. Um, I just got the barbecue dragon stone um, for it. I love that. I got the. Uh, I've received the uh, the adrenaline um, barbecues. Great. Um, the spin grate, I think, is what they call it. So, and one other uh, thing, uh, new accessory. I, oh, I got a vortex. So, look forward to seen some videos using the vortex but yeah love love my kettle really missed having one and then right next door to it i'm not going to take the cover off y'all y'all know what the uh what the old pit barrel looks like um it's the full-size pit barrel uh love it use it a, a lot um Actually, this weekend I use uh, I I cooked with um, lump in it for the first time. Absolutely love it with lump. I don't know if I'll use anything other than lump in that thing uh, from here on out. I really like the flavor that it puts on, the way it cooks. Um, cool cooker cool cooker the whole system uh, I don't hang stuff as much as some people do um, I just kind of like laying stuff on the grate but uh, I don't do I, I suppose if I did um, it's just me and my wife so I do a chicken I don't do like three or four chickens at one time I don't do three or four racks of ribs so um, but I'm sure there'll be some times when I've that I'll do some more when the kids are over and we're doing a, uh, you know, a whole day 
uh, fun day out here on the patio. So anyway, that's the Weber kettle and the pit barrel. All right, guys, so up next is not a cooker, but this is actually um, you know, one of my work center that I created here. Um, if you remember, I had bought the cabinet for the, for the Blackstone. I went back and I got two more of those cabinets. It was a fantastic deal on the cabinets. They were like $149 cabinets and a piece, and I got them for like $49 each. And they absolutely made a fantastic cabinet. For, for this purpose and what I did is is I just build put them together leveled them up and build a countertop um, out of some pine scrap uh, that rests on the top and then I just got some dollar uh, ceramic tiles and put them on the top and it absolutely works fantastic. I could use several times. You probably have already seen it in one or two videos that I've done. Um, uh, yeah, and I, then I just stained it and, and finished it. I do have a big, um, basically it's a grill cover that covers it all so that it doesn't get soaking wet and everything and, and protects it from the rust and everything. But just got a ton of storage in it um, <laughs> I just got a little bit of everything in here that I need um, grill supplies down below um, you know I got my barbecue dragon soon I got a couple grill grates here I've got you know um, chimneys stored down there yeah really worked out great pans and stuff I have a uh, I have an induction burner top that I can use on top of here I have a butane burner top so I can have a couple skillets going out here and doing prep work it really works out nice um, I'm digging it and I know you know my son's a lot like me he likes to do this stuff too so it gives us a lot of room to be out here preparing stuff so yeah it's uh you know it's really going to be kind of a hub of the whole setup here so anyway there's a look at that All right, guys, last but not least, here is my little master built electric smoker. Um, I've had this one for about a year. Uh, I've got a cook coming up where I did a chicken in this um, that hasn't aired. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look inside here. got the water trough the, the little chip tray it is kind of a drag having to uh, chips last for about 45 minutes um, it's kind of a drag I have learned to change out the chips though pretty quickly get the door get this out of here get the door shut put it back in uh, and and load load it with about a 50 degree loss in heat temperature that's not too bad um, but I did also buy uh, one of those little pellet smoker things to stick in here where you fill it, fill it full of pellets and then you light it. Uh, I haven't used that yet though, but uh, so it's got the two racks otherwise and then it comes with the, the little rib rack that I can use actually on the Weber or any grill really. But uh, this this uh, this has a little bit of trouble getting up past 275. It likes 
it'll get up to 250 pretty easily but beyond that um, it has a hard time maintaining if it has any wind that'll cool it off real quickly so but it's perfect for you know something that you're gonna do slow and slow um, 225 somewhere around in there and is small enough fit in here it's perfect for like uh, barbecue beans um, smoked mac and cheese things like that uh, a tray of say burn ends stuff like that but uh, and like I said I got a I got a cook coming up here in a couple of weeks that I did with the chicken and that was on a really really windy day and I the chicken was up to like 150 I did end up um, having to take it in the house because it just kept getting cooled down uh, took it in the house and finished it in the, the oven but uh, yeah it's it's easy to get I mean get the right amount of smoke and what have you it's got the little grease tray So, yeah, I did end up um, replacing this because I bent the other one, but this is spot on. Uh, when I put my Thermal Pro in here, it goes toe to toe with it. So, yeah, it's a neat little cooker. Um, I've had it for about a year. I haven't used it a ton, but I've got plans for it and, and everything. So, that's pretty much it we'll be back with some closing thoughts here in a minute say everybody anyway i hope you enjoyed a little look see of what what i've done here uh i'm having fun with it and uh remember hashtag my bbq crib and if you would when you and put that in the description of your video and if you would put a link to my video i'd appreciate it i think it'll be fun thanks guys for watching i appreciate all my subscribers we'll see you on the next one